this is Stampy, and welcome to my Let's Play on King's Quest. We are uh, probably approaching the, the end of Chapter 4, Snow Place Like Home. If you didn't see the last episode, go and at least watch the end of it, because lots of stuff happened. But long story short, we are now back together working as a, as a family, and we need to try and solve this puzzle. So now I kind of understand the puzzle a little bit more. I guess that we need to, to light the, uh, the trail, starting from here. And uh, go along here, which means we need a corner piece here, here, and here. And we have a, a chest in- I just remembered I got the uh, the mystery thing from the hobble pots, and that hasn't come into to play yet. So yeah, let's look around and let's see if we can work out what to do. Uh, oh, is this like a scroll? Looks like I found a clue. Okay, looks like I got a, a clue. What does the, the clue say? Uh, it was a clue. Oh, I think I need to find four clue pieces by the looks of things. Um, but that one was easy. Let's go and see how V's doing. I called dibs on this puzzle. You figure your own out. Oh, that can't be right. Let me try again. So it looks like everyone's kind of doing the same as they did before. But look, this time Alexander's actually helping. This might take some doing. Oh, he's literally just solving a jigsaw puzzle. Ah, right there, looks like, do I need to find other parts of the clue? Um, ah, do you reckon I, I think I need to put them all down together on the table. Okay, right. Well, there's one piece. It looks like there's, so there's probably three more pieces I need to find. So let's go have a look around the other uh, place then, because look at all of these things. Oh, the sword and the stone. Can I pull that out? Ah, right. This, this spins. And the arrow is now pointing that way. And I can't spin it again, either. Uh, what's this thing? Okay. I'll stop commenting on everything. It might give away the puzzle. <laughs> right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's keep looking at this. There's another painting here. Need to be read. All you have to do is shake your head. Um, is this like an optical illusion? Let me shake my head. Okay, it's kind of hard to do. Let me take my headphones off and shake my head one second. I think, is that like a, a number three? Hmm, it does look like some sort of optical illusion. I can't see... I can't see what it is of, though. Hmm, okay, let's uh, keep looking. <laughs> the sign read, remove four matchsticks and you will see... The answer lies in triangles of three. Uh, did you say remove three matchsticks? Was that, sorry? Oh, four. Four matchsticks. Okay, so I need to remove four of these. And the answer is three? How does that make sense? Um, do I need, like... Because how can I make three in the middle? Uh, I'm going to put all the matchsticks back. The sign read... Remove four matchsticks, and you will see the answer lies in triangles of three. I don't get what the, the numbers do. Remove four. The answers are... Oh, do they have to be in, like, the three times table? Is that what it is? So this is two. So then we'd have six here. So this... That could be one. Uh, oh, no, because this can't be by itself there, though. Um... Then that would be ten. I'm no. going to put all the matchsticks back. So do you kind of see what I'm supposed to be doing here? Like, I think uh, I'm supposed to be matching these up. So I could do... Hmm. I think this is right. I think it needs to... Well, I can, I can take away the ones on the outside as well. So could I do like that and say that that counts as six? Then that would be... 10 here, then that would be 6 there. I know this isn't like the, uh, the the solution, but... I'm going to put all the matchsticks back. I wonder I wonder if that's kind of what I'm supposed to be doing here. Not entirely sure, though. Is the, these the fours, which are the really tricky ones. Um, um, right, let's let's come back to that one. <laughs> let's keep looking. Uh, right, we've got another painting here. We've got a... Um, a sand timer here. There's a lot going on here, isn't there? There's a lot to keep track of. Ah. Okay, that one's span around. To the side. It's because once I spin them, I can't spin them back as well, which is quite peculiar. And then this one doesn't spin. 
Oh, but there's a little arrow, a little lever down here. Oh yeah, that's the uh, the lever that speeds up time. And oh, that picture, it look, kind of looks like a um, looks like a loop, doesn't it? You can kind of see it better from far back here. I couldn't really see it when I was that close. And then there's the chest still over there. Everyone else is still kind of hard at work solving their own puzzles. And there doesn't seem to be anything that I can throw. Like, the only thing I can really seem to be able to do is the matchstick puzzle. Watch out. Looking for clues. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't do what you do. Right, looks like uh, looks like we're going back to the uh, the matchstick problem again, I'm afraid. <laughs> Let's see if we can do this. So, it's this, these fours which are really causing me trouble. Um, so, could I, could I add up to like 15 somehow? So we've got 12. Ah! No, that'd be 16. 20? No. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. This is tricky. This is tricky. So the sixes I don't need to worry about by themselves because they're fine. So if I get rid of that, then we got 10. And then we can do that to get 16, which won't particularly help me. Um, and I could do... I'm going to put all no. the matchsticks back. This is a tricky one, right? Once again, I'm going to go and uh, play around a little bit and try and work it out. And I'm going to speed up the, uh, the the video until I've uh, worked it out. Uh, but yeah, uh, see if you can work it out as well while I'm working out. So if you want, kind of pause the video here and maybe draw it out and uh, see if you can work it out. So I think we need to get it so all of the areas match up to, to three. Let me just read the description again. The sign read, remove four matchsticks and you will see the answer lies in triangles of... Three. So I'm assuming that means the three times table, but yeah, let me try and uh, let me try and work it out. I solved it. Okay, um, I seem to have solved the puzzle. I don't really realize how I solved it, though. Um, I don't get it. I was kind of, <laughs> I was just playing around. So, the triangles of three. Oh, is it because, is it because I have three triangles? Oh, I assumed it was to do with the, I don't think it has anything to do with the numbers. Look, I think it's just because I've made three triangles that that's, that that's me having solved the puzzle. So maybe these numbers are gonna be a clue for something else. Okay, so look, this kind of looks like the sand timer, doesn't it? A little bit. But I don't know how that's going to, to help me. There's the combination lock for the door there. The sign read, remove four matchstick. So the answer lies in triangles of three. It's in triangles of Three. Okay, so I think that was just used to help me. I think that's just gonna allow me to 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 help me somewhere else. But I'm not entirely sure what that's gonna help. So I don't know what else I can um what else I can really like play with to to be honest. I mean I found that first clue. I need the uh, the combination locks. Ah look, it's letting me enter them now though. It's letting me try and end into the, the combination lock. So maybe I need to use that puzzle to help me work it out. But there's another combination lock here. Crack the code to escape the room. Oh, okay. So there needs to be a, a number code to, to do on there. So, right. So we got the sand timer is one and four. And then there's a six there in like a little triangle. And then these aren't here. So one, four, and six. Oh, no, don't do that. No, don't do that. No, don't put the matchsticks back. I'd already solved the puzzle. I solved it. One and four, and then there's a six. No, stop. Stop putting the matchsticks back. <laughs> um. The sign doesn't need to be read. All you have to do is shake your head. And that one I don't understand either. I think it's an optical illusion, but I think it's just not working very well on me. Then this is where the sword was. There's not really doesn't let me do anything here. Hmm. I do believe I am stumped again. There must be 
There must be something else that I'm not seeing here. No, it's not letting me, um, it's not letting me remove the matchsticks anymore. That's weird. Okay, I kind of remember which ones it were, but yeah, it's not letting me remove them anymore. So I reckon that I'm going to need to to work out the, the number combination by the order of like things on the wall. Let's try like one, four, six, shall we? And see if that is the combination. So that's kind of what was in the uh, the matchsticks, but there's no real way it's kind of saying what order it needs to be. Let's try this. Oh, that was right. All that was inside was a sequence of colors. Guys, I think I found something. All right, we got the uh, the next clue as well. All the clues on the table. Okay, that, that wasn't like, that didn't seem like the answer because. I don't know, it just seemed a little bit weird. But oh well, we did it. We got the uh, <laughs> we got the, the chest open. Uh, we got two clues down. Let's have a look here. Puzzle pieces? Bring them to me. Okay, we'll do. We'll do. All right then. So can I give this color thingy to V? Because it looks like that's the uh, the order that we need to do with the uh, the song. I knew I was missing something. This must be the order to play the notes. Oh, I was hoping some secret compartment would unlock. I would have designed it that way. Uh, keep playing it. Dad, check this out. I got it. <laughs> Always Mr. Fancy Cakes, wherever we look. Well, there we go. We got one of the other the pieces in. So far, so good. Put the puzzle together. It's a nice picture, but I don't see how it's a clue. There was an extra piece, though. Not sure what that has to do with anything. I am so proud of you, son. Why, thank you. Okay, so that's that done. And there's an extra piece. Oh, it's got a, a heart on it. Where is there a, um... Where is there a gap hey, missing? Find any other pieces? Um, but maybe, is it is it this? Can I use this here? Let me, uh, let me see if I can give her that puzzle piece. No, it doesn't seem like that's right. So where, where could I use the puzzle piece? Can I use it in any of these paintings? Extra puzzle piece with a pur- Oh, it's purple. With a purple heart on it. Hmm. So we still have all of these paintings around here. And I can't turn them anymore. And I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with any of them. There's a little sand timer down here. But there's not really, um... There's not really many things that it allows me to... To, to use items on. Like, could I use the, uh... No, I can't use the heart on anything here either. This just really allows me to to look at things. But there's all of these numbers around the place as well. Oh, it seems to be missing a piece. So this is obviously saying for the the combination uh, for when I get out. But there's no way I can work it out uh, until I find the um the uh, the rest of the the clues. But what else is there for me to look at? Well, I guess I guess uh, am I just able to do this puzzle now? It seems so. Right then, what am I doing here? So, seems like I pull them down, but if I don't get the right ones, they all end up lifting up. So I need to, do I need to get, open up the linked up ones? Oh! Not entirely sure how I solved that, but ah, ah, I did it. I just, I just think that they were the handles linked with the, uh, the, the lines. Right then, here's a uh, clue number three. It was a slow start, but I'm whizzing through them now. Let's go and, uh, uh give this to, to Rosella, and, uh, she'll be very happy about that, and, uh, so will I. Is it gonna let me uh let me give it to her? I guess I can just go and place it down on the table myself. She said to pass it to her. <laughs> right. We still need one more. Oh, it's just on the floor down there. <laughs> Someone help me! I've almost puzzled something out. It's still kind of me solving all of the puzzles at the end of the day. I know they're trying to make it look like us we're working together, but it's still mainly me, let's be honest. Right then, so the purple heart goes down like this. Goes across and then up to the V. So the purple heart leads to the, the V. How does that help me? Um, right. And then, look, then here's the sand timer. So these all seem to, to represent uh, different things that are in the, the room. So I guess we only worry about the ones that are in the, the room. So which ones are in the room? So we've got purple heart. So let's say it's V first. Okay, I might, I might write this down. Let's, uh, let's kind of have a go at this. So V... And then what else here is in the room? So there's a purple sword is in the room. Let's have a look around it as well. And uh, see what 
what else we uh we have oh yeah whatever what was that we oh that's a horseshoe is in the room as well so let's uh let's go down so the horseshoe could be i think that's l the horseshoe and then the purple sword is j i believe and then the last one is the sand timer which is o so v l j o should we give that a go I think they're the only things here uh, that are, are inside of the uh, the, the room. Because look, there's the purple sword there above the, uh, the the sand timer. So I'm not sure if this is going to be right. But let's just go and uh, give it a go anyway, just in case it is. So uh, we want V first. Is V even on this section? There may not even be a V on this section. So <laughs> maybe, maybe I haven't got the order right. I should look at the numbers, shouldn't I? Because, well, I get... <laughs> The sand timer doesn't really have a number, does it? But maybe I can work that out. So it looks like the the horseshoe is supposed to be first. So let's uh, let's kind of change this again. So the horseshoe was L. So I think it's supposed to be L first because that's number one. And then what else do we have? Then we have the um oh the puzzle piece. So that should be number three. So that means the um uh, it should be V should be number three. And then the sand timer doesn't have a number, so we don't really know about that. And then, is it the purple sword? I'm not sure, because look, there's there's a bunch of different things around here in these paintings. But none of them have numbers on, and neither does the sand timer. So I feel like, oh, what about an arrow? Is an arrow for number two? Is an arrow on here? There doesn't seem to be an arrow on here either. I think I might be missing what the, the other one is. And then there's the uh, the colourful uh, xylophone over there, but that doesn't seem to be on here. Um, so let's let's put um, let's put in J and then the the other one uh, O. Let's just put them in and let's see if we can uh, we can make this work because uh, it's kind of the the order the thing that's confusing me. So I'm pretty sure it's horse shoe first though. So this should be L, but we might be able to work out some of the uh, the, the rest. Uh, through the uh, the processor of uh, elimination. So uh, let's slide this around to, there should be an L. Yep, there we go. And then this is the one I wasn't sure about. I think it should be J, but if J is not on it, then I think it might be O. So let's just go through. There we go. There's a J. So far, so good. There should be a, a V on this one. So let's go and switch around to the, the, the V. Please be on here. I'm pretty sure there will be V. There we go. There's the, uh, the, the V. And then this one I think should be O. But I guess I can kind of just switch through them until it stops because <laughs> uh, I'm guessing it works. Actually, no, I do need to press a button. Uh, is there an O on here? Oh, there might not be an O on here. Um, I think there isn't an O on here. So this one might be the, the J then if that is the way it's supposed to be. But there doesn't uh, seem to be a um a, a, J, a J on here either. So is it just something different? I mean, um, I think the others might be right. So I know this is kind of the cheaty way of doing it. <laughs> but let's just go and try this out uh, for the process of elimination. Because if this doesn't work, then I know that the uh, the second one isn't supposed to, to be J. And I can kind of uh, just move on from uh, from from that. And uh, yeah, try and work out the, the, the puzzle properly. So yep, it looks like uh, I'm not getting uh, lucky here. And I'm going to have to actually work out what the other uh, solution is. So right then. So horseshoe, number one. That seems to be pretty definite. And then number three... Uh, is pretty much definitely the the V because that's kind of at that station there. Um, so this xylophone, and then so V is playing music at the xylophone. Is there anything here that kind of represents that? I mean, maybe it's V. I mean, V likes books. So I don't know. Then there's the leaf, which I I can't really tell what that represents. I'm not entirely sure. So um, where's the um? Where's the the number two? So the number two is here. And then there's the sword. Oh, so I think the sword is supposed to be number two. I think the, the purple sword. So which one was uh, which one was that again? So that is... Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure that is right. I'm pretty sure it is LJV. But then none of the other ones seem to to, to work. Hmm. Let me, let me try this. Uh, let me try this again. Because it should be... It should just be that... That last one, that number four, whichever V is, but like I, I should be able to go through and just do any combination, seeing as I worked out the other. So yeah, L J V. Maybe uh, maybe I just didn't go through them all. Is it X? No T. 
I, th I feel like one of these really should work. So I'm pretty certain about all of the others uh, of them being right. Of course, if this doesn't work, then I know that it's uh, it's not right. But let's go through and have a, another test and uh, see if this is uh, is going to, to work. Because if this doesn't work, it means that one of the other ones are wrong. So it's quite good doing this anyway, because I I'll find out whether one of the, the, the ones I've already done are wrong. And uh, have I gone the whole way through? I think, um... I think I've gone the, the whole way through here, and yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to, to be working. Quite a, a puzzling puzzle. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I've definitely gone the, the entire way through then. So, what am I, what am I going to, because there's a purple sort of, and then there's like this sand timer as well, over here. But, I don't, I mean, there's a sand timer on the thing, but then there's like this purple sword going down there, but there's no number near it. And then that's the thing that's throwing me off, because all of the others seem to be kind of working with the, uh, the the number. So maybe number two is wrong. Maybe maybe number two isn't the sword? Because it's kind of pointing an arrow towards the statue. So maybe number two isn't the sword, but it's something to do with that, that ice statue? Is there anything that would represent the ice statue? I mean, there's this thing here. Is that supposed to be like an ice cube? <laughs> I have no idea. Um... And then we have this star as well. I think that that that's the one that's throwing me off. It's definitely number two, the the thing that's confusing me. But then there was another painting over here which it let me turn for some reason, and I have no idea why it allowed me to turn that. Oh, see, so that's like an arrow pointing that way. Quite peculiar. Let's go and look back over here. So maybe it's not the sword. It's this. It's this statue here. Maybe that's the thing. So maybe it is like that ice thing is this an ice cube thing so that says r so let's try number two as r and then let's uh let's give a uh, let's give that a little go down here then shall we and let's see uh, whether that works uh, any better so is there a um is there an r here right there is so maybe that's what it's supposed to be i think they would have made it like clearer that that was supposed to be an ice cube though but Let's go and give it a go, because <laughs> I'm pretty, pretty certain that L and V are correct. And so it's only like this, um, it's that second one which is confusing me. But of course, the last one doesn't matter so much, because as long as I got all of the others right, I can kind of just switch through like uh, like this and uh, work this out. But yeah, uh, what I think I'm going to do, unless it opens up right now, which I very much so think uh, it isn't going to, <laughs> is I'm once again going to speed up the, the, the video uh, until I've been able to to, to solve the, uh, the, the problem. Uh, and then that way, uh, we can go and uh, carry on uh, going into the, uh, the, the next room. Okay, welcome back. I've just had a bit of a thought. So, I think it might be the sand timer. Because if you look, this is number two. This is like an arrow pointing this way. And then if you follow it around the wall, it then points down to the sand timer. So maybe it's saying that the sand timer is number two, which means that number two would be O. What do you, uh, what do you think about that? I think that might be the, uh, the, the solution. So, I still haven't worked out what the, uh, the, the last one is. But if it- Oh! E! I think it's love! I think the answer is love! The answer is love! It sounds like a Disney movie now, doesn't it? <laughs> so what What would E- let, let, Let's go and see what number four would be. So, oh! It says, is it V? And then what would be- What would be E? So let's follow it backwards and see. It's a star! Oh! Is it- It's because of the other uh, song she was playing! It's because she's playing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Oh, <laughs> I kind of worked out the puzzle in reverse. But there we go. That does make sense. I should have listened to her song again. I should have listened to her song, but there we go. I have now solved the puzzle. I'm almost certain I've solved I, I have solved the puzzle. It's got to be love. So now we can open the door and follow the trail, and then we can go and uh, make our way through. But sadly, that is the uh, the, the end of this episode. I really enjoyed this puzzle. I think this like whole challenge room uh, has definitely uh, been my uh, my favorite uh, part of the entire game. To be honest, it's been uh, really fun. I love all of these like puzzles kind of all packed in together and all very different types of puzzles as well. But yeah, that is the end of this episode here. I'll leave a link in the description to what will probably be uh, the final episode of this chapter. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you there. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!